I'm Broadcast Cal. Today is a very special and rare day. It only happens once every four years. It's Leap Day. Do you know why we have leap years? Stick around and I'll fill you in with all the fun mathematical details. So what is a leap year? Based on our calendar, an ordinary year has 365 days. Well, a leap year has 366 days. For all you math whizzes out there, that's an extra day. Leap day is added because it takes 365 days, five hours, 48 minutes, and 45 seconds to go completely around the sun. If a leap year was not added to the calendar, the seasons would start one day earlier every four years, which means that after 360 years, spring would begin on December 21st instead of March 21st. That would be a lot of spring snow days. Spring snow days wouldn't be so bad. Leap years were introduced over 2,000 years ago by Roman general Julius Caesar. His calendar, named the Julian calendar, he had only one rule. In a year, Evenly divisible by four would be a leap year. Unfortunately, there was a problem with that formula because it produced too many leap years, causing the Julian calendar to not align with the tropical calendar. As a result, a new calendar was introduced, the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar is the one that we follow today. Did you know? that when Britain finally switched over to the Gregorian calendar in September of 1752, that 11 days were skipped. Can you imagine going to bed on September 2nd and waking you up on September 14th? Days gone just like that. Poof. They did this to catch up to the rest of the countries who previously adopted the Gregorian calendar. Now, if you're wondering, how do I figure out if it's a leap year? Ask yourself these questions. Is this year divisible by four? If the answer is yes, then ask, is this year also divisible by 100? If so, it's not a leap year. Unless it's also divisible by 400. Confused yet? Let me give you an example. The year 2000 is divisible by four, is divisible by 100, also divisible by 400, making it a leap year. But your 2100 will not be a leap year. Even though 2100 is divisible by four, it is also divisible by 100, but not divisible by 400. So your 2100 is not a leap year, meaning that there will be an eight year gap between the years 2096 and 2104, instead of a four year gap. So basically, most years divisible by four will be leap years. Only the ones divisible by 100, but not divisible by 400, will not be a leap year. Hope this makes a little more sense. Juan Broadcast Cal wishing you a happy leap year. And I'm encouraging you to use your extra day this year to do something kind for someone else. And see if you can find someone who has a birthday on February 29th. And make this year's birthday celebration extra special for them. Because the next leap year happens in 2024. Broadcast Cal, out. <laughs>